Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today, we are going to look at some very cool tricks to do with static electricity. We're going to make things float with static electricity, which is why I've decided to call this week's experiments Wingardium Leviosa, for any of you Harry Potter fans out there. So, let's take a look. If you want to follow along with this at home, you might have what you need to do it, which is just a white plastic bag. And if your house is like my house, you have 800 of these in a cupboard somewhere. The other thing you're going to need is a regular old balloon. And what we're going to do is cut a strip out of our bag, approximately two centimeters wide. Um, it's already in a loop, so we just have to cut this strips and then save the other part of your bag. We're going to use it later. Then blow up your balloon. Now get your balloon super staticky by rubbing it against your hair. Same thing with that little strip. And now we are going to throw the strip up in the air and use the balloon to try to get the two statically charged objects to repel one another. These are both full of negatively charged ions and they should push each other away from each other. We're going to need to get these a little bit more staticky, obviously, to make our experiment more successful. So here we go. We're going to try again. <laughs> we make ourselves pretty staticky with this experiment. Oh, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Almost like magic, right? The two negative charges are pushing against each other to make it look like that ring is simply floating in the middle of the air. Which I think is pretty cool. Ta-da! <laughs> so for the second part of this experiment, instead of a ring, we are gonna cut what looks like sort of an octopus creature. And to get it super staticky, I am taking a paper towel and just running down the length of it to build that static electricity. You'll notice it start to stick to the table or whatever you're rubbing against, and that is a good sign. And we want to do the same thing with our balloon, build that static charge, that negative charge. And same thing, we're going to throw up our octopus-shaped uh, plastic bag and see if the two negative sets will repel each other. It looks kind of like a weird jellyfish. There we go. That's, that's kind of working. It's falling a little bit. Let's increase that charge a little bit and try again. Pretty cool. Just remember, sometimes you got to try and try and try again. So don't get discouraged, guys. Thank you for following along, and I hope to see you back next week for another Science Short.